All right, so let's talk about merengue because merengue is actually one of the biggest influences in my music production as well as my house dancing. I'm Dominican myself. I think of merengue as like the house music of Latin music. You know, there's bachata, there's salsa, and then there's merengue. I mean, there's reggaeton and there's a bunch of other stuff. But as far as like Dominican music, merengue is sort of like the house music of that. So it's fast, it's it's exciting, it's it's festive, funky, all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually gonna dance some merengue for you guys, and I really encourage you to like if you learn if you're just learning how to house dance you know throw on some merengue dancing to that stuff is really gonna help you improve how to you know really find the rhythm and things so check it Llena de emoción y te dan un beso temblando de amor. Las mujeres calientes, que se casen todas, porque son muy buenas, para que vivan solas. Las mujeres calientes. So, you, know, it might, it might, you know, you might feel a little silly like dancing to merengue and thinking it's gonna help your house dance, but I mean, the proof is in the pudding, man. <laughs> like, it's, you know, rhythm is something that's universal. Like, if you can, if you have good rhythm when you dance to salsa or merengue or bachata, house, hip hop, like it, it all transfers, you know, into each. I mean, dancing is is something that is it's just dancing. So, I mean, check it, check this out. I totally messed up on that one. People are watching me and stuff, like self-conscious. Shoot. All that dancing slowed me down. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, guys. <laughs> Wish me luck.